Hi, and welcome to the CertMic practice test question of the week, where I bring you a question that you might find on your next cybersecurity certification exam, and then explain my thought process as I answer that question. This week's question is about web application attacks. Let's take a look. Harold is investigating a security incident where the victim was visiting a message board and viewed a message containing malicious code. He had another tab open in his browser that was logged into a popular shopping website. The malicious code on the message board made a purchase on the shopping website without Harold's knowledge, and it shipped the merchandise to an overseas address. What type of attack likely took place? Is it a server-side request forgery attack? A cross-site scripting attack? A cross-site request forgery attack? Or a phishing attack? Let me give you a moment to think about that, and then I'll explain the correct answer. I release these questions once a week for members of my free CertMic study groups. There's a group covering each of the major cybersecurity certifications. If you're working on your next certification, you can learn more at CertMic.com. In this case, the attack depended upon the fact that the victim was already logged into the shopping website. The attacker knew that some portion of the visitors to the message board would be logged into that other site and took advantage of that trust relationship to send commands through the user's browser to the shopping site. That's an example of a cross-site request forgery attack. Cross-site scripting attacks work in a similar manner, but they do not leverage those trust relationships. Server-side request forgery attacks target the web server itself rather than the end user, and phishing attacks attempt to trick the user into sharing sensitive information. But this attack took place without the victim's knowledge. So the correct answer here is C, cross-site request forgery. If you found this question helpful, please click the like button below and consider subscribing to my channel for more cybersecurity content.